Folks, it's prep time. The old engine has been removed and the cradle has been prepped for paint. On this episode, we're also gonna take our new small block and made it to our new TKX five-speed transmission, this time on IROC Rehab. So it was finally time to mate our new Edelbrock crate engine to the IROC's original engine cradle. But before that happened, a thorough cleaning and degreasing of the cradle was in order. Removing 35 years of grease and road grime allows for a thorough inspection of the cradle, which can reveal any damage that may have occurred throughout the vehicle's life. Then, once the inspection is complete and you're satisfied that everything is structurally sound, you can then weatherproof the cradle. In this case, we use some poor 15 and then commence in mating the engine with your newly refurbished cradle. So we're ready to start prepping our new Edelbrock crate engine. Remember, this is a 350, it's rated at 380 horsepower. It's got Edelbrock's own fuel injection on it. And now we're gonna get ready to put it on the cradle and to mate it with the new five-speed transmission. So we've already test fit the flywheel here. That comes with the transmission kit. Remember, you gotta put a pilot bearing or bushing in. Our kit came with that as well. It also came with ARP flywheel bolts. Now, a critical thing we need to do before we go too much further is bolt the transmission and bell housing to the engine and do some measurements to make sure the air gap between the hydraulic throwout bearing and the transmission snout has a proper air gap. So we're gonna do that next. We've also gotta put our accessory drive on here. We've got a fresh water pump to get that going. And then we'll put everything on the cradle and put it up in from the bottom. Now we're doing this here in our Hemmings facilities where we're very lucky that we've got a bend pack lift. That makes things so much easier. We're able to work a lot more efficiently. But you could do this at home, in your driveway, your home garage. You could take the engine up out the top. You can remove the transmission from the bottom. But when we're here trying to move along, uh, using the bend pack lift has been just fantastic. So we're very lucky to have that. And we're gonna keep going that way. So we're gonna dive in now. Not empty yet. No, no. So Junior, we're swapping the accessory drive from our old engine to new. And a lot of people wonder, well, you got everything else new, why are you keeping this stuff? But the accessories kind of go with the car, right? Yes, yes, they do. This is a mixture of multi-V and single V-belt. And rather than purchasing a whole assembly, this stuff will pretty much bolt right on. Okay, so we'll transfer this stuff on the new motor, but this is kind of a moment of truth in an yes, engine swap, right? To hopefully that everything fits. And Chevy's pretty good about interchangeability, and these uh, Edelbrock heads seem to have lots of holes in the front. Yes, they do, for all your accessories. That's always a good sign. Couple things not fitting up exactly? A couple things different. Because of the intake manifold on the L98 and the Vortec are not exactly the same. There's two small brackets up at the top that we'll have to deal with later, but for the moment, we could get the car running just the way it is. Okay, I think it's fortunate for us. We got a couple of you guys that are metal fabricators who might be able to make we something come up with something. Okay, cool, good deal. Well, these are super unique to 87 IROCs. Yeah. So. This is a split. Yeah. Multi-V and single V. This is like Always. the weird 80s crossover stuff that you would have to spend $500 or more to buy, uh, to get used IROC front pulleys. So we're grateful that we have them. <laughs> yes. And that's why we're using them and we don't care if they don't look so great because you're not going to find them anywhere. If you can find them, probably five or six hundred dollars worth of parts. And when you buy them, they're going to be wrong or missing parts or, oh yeah, maybe it didn't come off an IROC. Okay, so what we have here is the new TKX uh, gearbox. And what's cool about this is it's a five speed and it's smaller than previous generations. Like the TKO is wider and maybe you had to cut your floorboard or hit it with a hammer. Uh, this one's small enough to put in your Camaro or your Chevelle, so that's why we picked it. So in order to get this all to work, you have to measure the distance uh, between the throwout bearing here and the fingers on the clutch. They call that the air gap. So it's two simple measurements. Uh, the first one is this measurement here to the face of the transmission. The second one is to the face of the bell housing. You do the math, the difference should be one to two hundred thousandths. Uh, once you got that, you're ready to stab it in. 
Once this goes in here, we're gonna bolt it together. We can put this entire thing back on the cradle, stick it back in the car. Back in the car. Yeah, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know what CD to put in this thing first. Like, all right, here's the keys, it's yours. Bring it back tomorrow. I wouldn't know what to put in oh. it for a soundtrack. Oh, 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 that's, that's, that's solid. That's a solid guy. Aldo Nova. Aldo Nova. I'm bringing Aldo Nova with the first ride, then Golden Earring. Ooh, Golden Earring, there you go. Yeah, Twilight Zone. Dude, I gotta go with, I gotta go with White Steak. Yeah, I get it. I couldn't imagine rolling into a crew concert in this thing. It was like one of the things you would've wanted to do. <laughs> I love the iRock Camaro. I graduated in 1991 from high school, and that's what all the cool kids drove. It was Fox Body Mustang, S10, and Camaro. So these are the up and coming hot muscle cars right now. So we're proud now to offer a complete turnkey kit for these things, featuring the Tremec TKX. Tremec is a, they're basically a tier one transmission supplier. They build a lot of OE transmissions. Well, any of the six speeds from most of your modern cars today are built by Tremec. American Powertrain, what we do is we develop application, kit applications with those transmissions. So we, we build cross members, bell housings, hydraulic clutch kits, and we package all those up using based on Tremec transmission. So we really just, each kit is custom tailored for the application. And just give the person, basically, a manual transmission is the ultimate goal to get away from the automatic and have overdrives to get better fuel economy, better gear ratios, just you can enjoy the car a lot more. So installing the headers on the engine in the cradle so we can go back up in and it's easier to work on it out here. We just realized we've got some interference issues here on the rear header flange. And the header flange is welded in location so we can't clock it or index it you know, for clearance. So I'm gonna have to mark the bell housing here and a uh, little trimming and we'll be back on, in, back on the road. All right, man, so one of the coolest parts about this build is we're ripping out the automatic and we're putting in a brand new TKX five-speed from American Powertrain. Problem is, that's got two pedals. We need three pedals. Walk me through the procedure to get that done, because I don't have a clue. First, we have to take two pedal bucket out, okay. install our three pedal bucket, hole saw hole in the firewall, add our master cylinder, hook up our plumbing, hook up our brake switch, neutral safety switch, off we go. So cutting a hole in the firewall, that doesn't phase you in the least? This is what I do. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing it. All right, I want to watch you do it, man. Let's, Let's do it. Let's get to it. All right. <laughs> on a Camaro, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <clears throat> Want me to make an appointment at the chiropractor for later? Oh, boy. I'm really thinking I shouldn't eat that last donut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, physically, pedals are in. With the clutch pedal assembly and new master cylinder properly mounted, the engine cradle cleaned and prepped, and the front engine accessory drive system installed, it was now time to raise our new engine and transmission combo into the belly of the Camaro. And that, folks, is coming up next time on iRock Rehab. <laughs>